Hey everybody, welcome back. We're looking at some people that need to retake biology because they just have no idea how women work. Can you pee with a tampon? I don't think it's recommended. Welcome to another episode of Roe v. Bros, the game show where we find out how much men know about women's bodies. Ooh, fine. Can you pee with a tampon in? I think you gotta take it out. I've seen the little tampon trash cans in the uh, <laughs> bathroom, so <laughs> probably why. Why are there different types of tampons? different sizes of vaginal cavities. About how many tampons would one use for their period on average? One? <laughs> or two? <laughs> I think one, to be honest, one. And it, they put them inside. Oof. Yes. What is a period? <laughs> what is a period? It's uh, the time of the month where the woman is ovulating. Can you pee with a tampon in? No. Okay, no. All right. Are you registered to vote? Yes. For the record, we have different flavors of tampons. There's uh, green ones, those are lime. There's orange ones as well. Cherry are my favorite, personally. I'm feeling so bratty. Bratty, bratty day. So bratty. Women of Reddit, what's your that's not how women work moment? The first guy I dated wanted to go swimming, but I told him no because I started my period and felt sore and crampy. He asked me if I could finish it before the end of the days <laughs> so we could go swimming the next day. No, no, it's not how that works. Oh yeah, let me just switch it off so that we can go swimming. Whatever you need, babe. Don't want my period, it's gone. Just like that. For those of you who are still confused, we don't pee out of our vaginas. We pee out of our urethras. It's different. Software engineer hiding in hotel room during company offsite. 2022 colorized. Sorry to break it to you, sweet. Cheeks? But software engineer and woman don't vibe. At best, you're a code monkey, but more likely you're the equivalent of an intern. Oh yeah, is that your like professional opinion? <laughs> is that like, you, did you do your research? Okay, yeah. Anything you can do, I can do bleeding. I can do anything with a vagina. <laughs> Who still uses the phrase sweet tits? <laughs> Someone who has never seen them. <laughs> Tell me you're intimidated by a female software engineer without telling me. Is it okay for a 12 year old to use tampons? No pads. I'm a first time dad. My daughter is not even at that age. Pads, 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 pads. <laughs> tampons are really for when they are in their later teens and have a... L okay. And they now need a cork for the leak. Instead... <laughs> A cork for the leak instead of a pad for the drip. I uh, that y'all. Uh, mm -mm. mm -mm. No, we do not leak. <laughs> well, we kind of leak. It's a little bit of leaking. I would say we leak more than we spray. <laughs> ah, yes, the him. <laughs> I didn't even clock that. After the the him has been punctured. <laughs> All right, then. This is an ad for a mobile game. I want to get rid of them. Arrest her. Do nothing. I was supposed to marry him. Judge Mia. Arrest Mia. Stepmom. Arrest them. Save her. Forgive me, my baby. I got dumped. Arrest her. Do nothing. Arrest her? Decide their punishment. They need to be punished? I hate these games. I hate them. I hate how YouTubers do these games. They play these weird games and then we watch them do it. Mind you, you watch me look at stupid on the internet. So I don't know who am I to tell what's better and what isn't, but like, that's just. What I'm understanding is this entire game is just haha -ha, women bad. Why men so bad? Let's find better things to do with our time. I don't hate women. I hate the one that gets a university education and then marries an, an electrician. What? I guess that's why I'm an I got my university education and then every mm, female Pomeranian at my level is marrying tradespeople left and right. I don't, I'm sorry, but you don't. You don't automatically become eligible when you have a degree. It helps. Some parents really care if you have a degree. The plumber, the carpenter, the Danish prince was 
by a freaking carpenter. Or if they can't marry down, they just stay single. Or they, like, marry people who are nice to them, too. <laughs> Sometimes. You're the problem. Mentioned a cervix to my 26-year-old boyfriend and he looked confused. Asked him, did he not know what that was? And he looked at me in the eye so confidently. So confidently. And he said, yeah, Jesus was nailed to one. Right. Yeah. Thank God you're cute. It's a good thing you're good looking. Age 22, wish I had a better body than this. Age 32, I wish I had the body I complained about 10 years ago. Why is 30 years always shown as like 60 years when it comes to women? Also, what is that face? <laughs> oh my God. You know, it's like, you know, when we turn 30, we're not automatically like wrinkly, you know, like, and even then, I don't understand this representation. Oh, she's so old and wrinkly. She's in her mid thirties. This meme is kind of right, you know, but like you don't need to be so like, you know, intense about it. Like, dang, I feel attacked. For the record, I also had cellulite when I was 22. So maybe I grew up in a time when flirting and making intentions was how you got a date or got to take someone home for the night all within reason and consensual of course so these women don't like to be touched on their bare back or be hit on at a wedding what do they want an email a text where is the romance sometimes you're the problem if they do not like it then don't wear open back dresses and don't go to weddings where guys are bound to hit on you if you are attractive duh or just don't go out at all if you can't be social grow up words of wisdom i think that it's okay to hit on women like it really is but like you don't have to be weird about it or creepy about it like you shouldn't touch someone if you just met them. She will let you know if she's interested. Pay attention to what she's saying. Huh? There's a, there's a good idea. Pay attention to us. We will give you a hint. And if we're not interested, we will also give you a big hint, hopefully. Some of us are a little too nice for that. But yeah, you can hit on us. I know, weird. Like, just because we're saying that we don't want you to be creepy about it does not mean that we don't want to be hit on at all. I think that women are pretty obvious when they do and they don't want to talk to you. But judging by, like, how you think about it, like, I have a feeling that you're just gonna have to change your tactics, buddy. It's not our fault that you don't have game. <laughs> Girlfriend requirements for me, double D. Blue eyes, fat butt, very skinny under 100 pounds. So you want like very, like under 100 pounds, but you don't. So you want her to be very skinny under 100 pounds, but you want her to have a f fat badonk donk, right? Light skin, oh, that's uh not something that you should be <laughs> okay some slavic maybe nordic brown hair or rich blonde nice legs virgin good cook innocent doesn't talk to anyone except me maybe her family is okay <laughs> wow thank you quiet whoa what's that ne wait what <laughs> i'm sorry what okay i mean Oh, I've never seen that on a list before, but sure. That kind of just came out of nowhere, didn't it? I'm not going to say that word, but I can display it on the screen because like I'm <laughs> like, what? Watches anime with me. Doesn't complain about anything. Fine with me messing with her. Submissive. Doesn't talk back. Fertile. Comes from rich family. Wow. Cleans the house. Always tells me I'm very handsome, funny, smart, and strong. Can't show that last part. Well, you know, it's good to have some high standards, but maybe you should consider lowering yours or at least compromising on a few things. So basically you just, you kind of want like a mannequin for a girlfriend. I know some really nice mannequins that might be interested for the record. Subscribe!